hi guys welcome to my channel so i have a very quick video okay this video is about uh cheating okay cheating 101 uh i actually did post a video about this previously but it got deleted so don't mind me i'm gonna be doing my makeup as well as we go so i'm gonna get straight to it i'm gonna try to make it short but important and concisive so guys um cheating is not personal that's one thing i know it's so annoying to hear people say that it is not personal if someone cheats on you it has nothing to do with you do not allow yourself to fall victim to that story and be in pain and sadness and thinking something is wrong with you no nothing is wrong with you when someone is cheating something is going on inside of them okay i have been it in both sides i've been cheated on and i have cheated okay i'm not proud of that as well and in both occasions i you know made myself a victim made myself a victim and i realize now more than ever that i shouldn't have done that to myself i shouldn't have brought myself that trauma it's not personal when someone is cheating there's something going on inside of them guys there's something going on inside of them there's they're not willing to face something about themselves and also i realized it's also a spirit of lust is real okay spirit of lust is real we need to pray on it we need to just cast it out the bible is really telling the truth the spirit of lust is dangerous okay because it can just cause a disaster okay if you just think of the story of king solomon you know he defied god okay someone that he loved someone that was by his side that was his real his ride or die but you know the spirit of lust took over and he found himself doing things that he shouldn't okay so it can happen to any simple person okay so you need to be mindful of that you need to be mindful of that um so guys as well like the most important thing i realized that we also have to be honest with ourselves okay not everyone is monogamous Mon not everyone is monogamous not everyone is meant to be in a monogamous relationship okay some people are into, into polygamy you know people are into being with more than one person men and women it's not even just men in this time and age even women okay and most people as well guys they're not with the people that they want to be with sometimes people are stuck in relationships because uh they compromise themselves maybe they have, they have obligations like there's children involved and they find themselves now stuck in these relationships that are not they're not happy with so with most guys what they do is that they'll never be brave enough to leave sometimes with women you know we do have this ability this strong ability just to stand up pick ourselves up and just keep moving forward but with some men they don't really choose to leave the, their women they they actually um will stay with that woman and will keep looking for others you know i won't lie i've even fallen i've been fallen victim of that as well i have found myself on the other side you know being the person that has been cheated with okay and i, I never knew but i found i've caught the guy that i was dating that he was he, he was married but he at the time he didn't tell me and uh he continuously lied about it still denied it and then eventually he would say that he's not happy with that woman he's just there with her because they have children but he doesn't know what real love is and he just is still looking for it and i'm like what you're still looking for real love when you're married so guys it's really crazy the things that we do to ourselves really that's punishment that's self-punishment because we we end up hurting other people and it's so not worth it it's so not worth it okay because karma is real and just impersonally inside of you there's something that i've done it i've cheated it felt horrible i really wouldn't wish it on someone else and i really learned my lesson you know i realized honesty really is the best policy you need to be honest with your lovers you need to be honest with yourself and be open-minded okay and there's so many things the ways that people are like going about this now like open relationships you know if you know that your monogamy isn't your thing or that you get bored easily because that can happen as well like that's why i kind of get so scared about the idea of marriage like i am a one man woman okay i can't do that but i get bored easily so i don't know how to combat that <laughs> So like sometimes I thought like would I be like would I last in like um an open relationship? Uh, I asked one of my ex partners and he was like forget it. <laughs> he was not down for it at all. But I mean sometimes it can be a good option, you know, instead of cheating because that's what end up people end up doing and hiding it. I don't know why people think they did hiding it you never come out and just the effort guys, the effort of deleting people's numbers changing numbers now doing the stuff sneaking out the house and it's just too much effort for me 
to be honest it's just too much effort i feel like more than anything we need to be real with ourselves we need to be real with ourselves we need to face our demons face our emotions and be honest about our lives guys and and stop living a life of deceit because i think it really is such a hurtful thing that you can do to someone that you love that you claim to love but it's just been so normalized and thing is people are not with people that they love people are not with the people that they love and people are not willing to face demons that they are having in their lives and in their relationships okay and sometimes we have uh idolized our our elders relationships you know our mothers and our fathers when sometimes they were actually in the most chaotic most toxic most dangerous situations ever okay and they just stayed for the sake of the family and if you've been in a situation like that you realize that it's even more dangerous to stay in situations like that like if your parents were abusive or maybe your father was a drinker or a drunkard i mean or maybe you know he was an adulterer as well and you would see things like that in front of you know see your mom being disrespected or you're abused you know like heavy stuff you know but they're still together that doesn't that's not a role model thing okay and i think god is okay with divorce if that is the case you know even jesus has mentioned this in, in the bible you know that divorce is not a sin okay if if there are certain um extremities that occur okay you know you're not no one was brought into this world to suffer god never brought anyone in this world to suffer okay and i think just the idea that we have about love we need to really be open about it we need to be open about it and we need to love ourselves first i know i'm so annoying because i always talk about that because that is my ish guys i'm on the self-love journey and i know that it is the most important journey that you can ever go on you know when you love yourself when you know yourself you're able to really love another person and give them give your love freely and honestly you know and not be so comfortable with adultery because it's it's not cool it's not cool it's not cool to be cheated on it's not cool to cheat okay or to be cheated with as well because i found myself on all aspects and just my lesson from it guys as well to, to never take it personal if someone is cheating on you the best thing you can do is to just go back to yourself self-reflect you know and and really evaluate the relationship really sometimes you'll stay and that's okay because i i don't think anyone should ever tell you to leave when you still love someone okay but you really need to know uh how valuable is this relationship to you and you know and think about weigh out your emotional and mental health because you don't want to just stay with someone and know that you're suffering and you don't even realize that you're suffering in the name of love and no one is meant to suffer in the name of love no one absolutely no one was designed love was never designed for suffering okay we just have to open up our minds open up our hearts to the divine truth of who we are okay and face ourselves face our shadows face our demons you know just really be open to just be open about yourself and maybe you mean maybe you're like meant to be a polygamist like or be in an open relationship like sometimes people need to really be honest about that you know like i do know that there's some traits about me that are uh, that make me question you know that the fact that i get bored easily you know like will i be able to like be in a 20-year relationship or marriage i don't know without maybe doing something different or even just doing different things with your partner you don't have to even step aside you know sometimes it's just important to just be honest guys because i i'm sorry maybe some people can live with just this life of deceit you know uh i, I can't okay it's just too much i, I feel like i'm way too all to be doing that to be deleting numbers changing numbers secretly going out there so that that person doesn't uh find me or you know changing the wigs for the different men you know like uh <laughs> guys i i don't know i don't think i'm able to i'm unable to and i think it's just not worth it guys we need to we need to grow out of this um uh, stigma but hey it's been around guys it's been around like i found myself even reading the bible and i was whoa tripping out like oh my gosh like i was reading the story of king david and um how he uh took his friend's woman you know um and got him killed and then made her his wife like god did not god was not impressed okay god is not impressed about that okay so he made it he gave him 10 times worse okay but it's just like i was like oh snap like you know this happens even in these days you know like you'll find uh women or best friend maybe your best friend you know trying to hit on your guy okay i've had that 
I had a friend of mine who tried to hit on my 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 boy, my ex at the time, my boy, <laughs> my ex boyfriend, and yeah, it crushed me. It was horrible. It was disgusting. But um, I also ended up doing something that was not cute okay and i think what made me feel like oh i can do it is because i felt like he had done something before that's also not even good okay truth is we need to be honest with ourselves okay we need to be honest with ourselves many people are not willing to face themselves and their relationships and be honest with their partners okay and not everyone is meant to be monogamous i'm so glad that in south africa it's legal now for even women to be in polygamous marriages because you know, it's not a man thing. It's not a masculine thing. It's not a. It's just a, a soul thing. Some souls like being with more than one person. And I'm not here to judge. Make it do what I do. You know, as long as you're not destroying people and like now killing people so that you can have your way or have their partners, you know, or cursing people because it gets that real, guys. It gets that real. People wanting other people's partners because they had a taste and now uh, the person goes back to their lover and they're like oh no you know I need you to be mine and now they're doing stuff you know so you just end up adding this energy and then you ru end up ruining your own marriages so some marriages have fallen like that okay because you stepped aside and you know it's even spoken about in the Bible like God knows what he's talking about guys we really need to learn to be honest we need to be honest with ourselves be honest with our emotions and 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 make those boundaries and create create another platform okay i don't i i, I condemn it okay i know i'm not here well, my, i'm just a human but i've been through it and i wouldn't wish it on anyone else and i, I feel like they we can conquer it you know we can conquer the spirit of lust we really can because that is what's really pushing us to step outside of our committed relationships and marriages so i hope this video touched you and made you realize that don't take it personal take it back to yourself and you don't always have to leave your partner okay maybe if you want to reconcile do it okay but just understand that if he did it once he can't do it again and um maybe he doesn't as well okay but it's just really up to you uh, and just the self-love that you have and you know maybe you're not willing to lose that person and that's okay as well but um you have to talk some things through and just and maybe if you're okay with that, some women have actually, and men, I just made it normal and I've just been okay with just constantly being treated like that. I found myself in a relationship where I was constantly being cheated on and I don't know why I stayed. I don't know what wickedness was consuming me, but I opened up these eyes and I got the hell up out of there. You know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's important to love yourself. And if someone doesn't respect you the way that you deserve uh, to be respected and the way that you treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, if you stay, then you're just saying that, okay, I'm worthy of that. And you're going to get more experiences that are like that. So sometimes it is for your own self-worth to take yourself out of those situations okay because there are people there are people that are faithful there are monogamous people out there there is someone out there that will love you will respect you that will honor you okay the way that you deserve to okay and it's not always important to just stay with someone out of fear because that's also unhealthy okay and toxic so i hope you enjoyed this video peace